comfortable. Um, we knew they were going to come and, and make life difficult for us. You've only got to take one look at the league table to know that. And, you know, they've got nine cup finals or eight, eight more now. So you know they're not going to come and play open. So it was just, we started the game quite well. The keeper makes a big save from, from Tav. And then their lad has an injury. We have Borna and it gets a bit stuffy. So we needed the first goal. It was a fantastic goal as well. Some of the stuff we're working on against the block and and Todd and, and Malik, that's a relationship I really want to uh, encourage and, and, and we've done a lot of work on it and it was a really good first goal. Ryan Kent nearly scored a fantastic second one, so we could have gone in at half-time 3-0 in front. We're not, so it's a dangerous scoreline, but I thought we were, we were comfortable for our Allen had very little to do and the only part I'll nitpick on is can we be a little bit more ruthless because we're creating a lot of chances and, and, and a lot of good moments as well where it's 3v3 or 4v3 where we know that uh, in games where, where it's, we need to be more decisive we're going to have to be. I noticed a lot, um, especially in the second half, playing centrally around the box there was a lot of intricate kind of movements. Was it a slight frustration that wasn't more attempts on goal? And there was a couple of things when we overplayed, but you were saying you're practicing to doing that more often against mm. the low block. It's different to obviously the crosses coming in, mm. so is that more of what you're trying to do? Yeah, listen, we want the, the goals in the middle, so you try to go through the middle as much as you can. If not, you go wide and then and look to go under or cross the ball. I thought we got into good areas and we were wasteful, and in other times we were trying to score the perfect goal. And I thought the boys were enjoying themselves. I think for me, I'd, I would like to see us. Um, be a little bit more ruthless in the final third, but I think I, I think today winning two 0 after the break, coming back in, there was a lot of good things that we've been working on as well. And Malik goes and, and scores two more, but the most important thing that he got another 75, 80 minutes in his legs because he's not done a lot the last month. Michael, you took off James Callum the other day and put on Scott Wright, which is maybe not a substitution people would have read beforehand. Uh, and, and it seems to go to a three at the back. Can you tell us what the thinking is to trying this new formation? <coughs> Well, the thing is, sometimes teams don't play anybody up front or they play they play one, and so we want to play man for man with that one and that's the only person we want there. So it's not free, it's a matter of just playing 1v1 on the halfway line. And, and I felt maybe Scott Wright dribbling was better than maybe um, James crossing. And it was something I was thinking early in the game that we, when we went out wide, we could we could do with dribblers. And Scott's been waiting patiently for an opportunity. He's trained very well. And I thought he came on and did the job I wanted him to do. And probably we should have come away with at least one more goal because of that change, maybe two. So it's not a case of playing three at the back. It's, it's a case of, you know, when teams are not playing anyone there, it's better angles to play two slightly wider on the halfway line rather than two more narrow. And We've been doing it from a back four anyway. If you look at the patterns, the patterns are exactly the same, but it just gives us a chance to, to try and, and, and work on something and maybe an eye to the future in terms of having different options. Yeah, there's an option there that we can take, and and um, but like all all things, the player has a say in it as well, and and so does the club uh, that he's at, and a lot of things are agreed, but it's uh, it's obviously there's been a change of manager there as well. That that's not a part of the negotiations that I'm involved in, but I'm fully up to speed on that. There was more talks on that over the uh, international break as well. So and and everything at the moment is positive. Um, obviously, me and Malik have a fantastic relationship, and I think he really enjoys playing it. I think you only have to see uh, in his in his, the way that he's grown in the time he's been here that he's really enjoying his football. Yeah, yeah, I've never felt anything different from him. He's really locked into the staff, and he's really invested in the team. Since we've come, we've made quite a lot of modifications to to Malik's game in in terms of. Um, certain aspects and today we asked him to play really close to Alfredo because we thought it would give us a physical presence that we could play into him when Dundee was sitting deep we could play into him and get runners off and uh, it was a slight change for him to normal but he comes away with two goals so he's, he's showing good signs that he can he can do a variety of jobs and at such a young age I think he's got a really high ceiling um, so yeah everything's positive around that boy at the moment.
Yeah, li- li- I think the boy can play at a really high level. Uh, like most young players, you know, they'll have ups and downs in their time, injuries and losses of form. And playing here at a big club, there's a demand every week um, to to make an impact on the game. And I would say more often than not, certainly since I've been in the club, he's done that. I think that's only his fourth start in the last 11 games, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we've missed him in them games he's not been available for. Mike, really good completely different game hopefully a lot more spaces to play in uh, we'll have a different selection because we'll pick what we think's right for that but uh, our form um, in the league since probably uh, I've come in but even the two games before I came in has set us up for for this game it's a it's the the big challenge and, and we're looking forward to it we get it was important we got today out of the way performing well and, and getting a clean sheet and winning. We've not had a clean sheet in a while and and, uh, and and it was important we got one today. What's your thoughts on the central striker position for next week, Mike? Because you started Alfredo today and brought in Coney on. Would that get minutes into Alfredo's legs before Saturday? Or no, 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 no massive uh, uh, big decision behind it or anything looking further forward. It was... Um, Alfredo had the shirt and there was no one else fit and he was playing and playing well and Antonio had come back. I liked his energy in training and I put him in the team. He did really well against Kilmarnock. We were fantastic as a team at Hibs. Uh, I kept him in for the cup game and then the game at Motherwell and I just felt I wanted to see something different today because they were going to play three centre-backs and sit close to the box and I wanted to play Malik in him and thought that the game might come down to crosses. They've got a big presence and you could play into them and they can use their body. So uh, there's there's nothing really in it. I think we've been working a lot with fashion as a number nine, which is where we originally signed him as well, whether that's in a two or a one. So we're trying to make the most of uh, the options that we have. Very much the best team in the game, they I think we need to make a statement every week. So every time we play, there's 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 a, a lot of questions. And one week a player plays well, he's great. The next week he doesn't. That's the life of a big club. And one week we're not wasteful, and the next week we we are. And now we need to take more chances. And at Hibs, it was fantastic. So I get it. It's a big game next week. Is is nothing more than three points right now. Uh, we need to prove something to ourselves for sure. Um, I think that it, it well. It's a fantastic derby game and the eyes of the world and certainly all of Scotland and the UK is on it, so it's a privilege to be involved in it. We've got a good week preparation now for it. I think we need to play how we pl- uh, we need to play how we play today in terms of some of the fluid football in that game. And I've not seen that uh, as much as I wanted, certainly in the last one. The game here at Ibrox was a bit different. And we need to be decisive in the boxes because uh, in both games we had more opportunities to be decisive um, and unfortunately it wasn't. And in big games, uh, it does come down to what happens in the two penalty boxes. Thanks, guys. Cool.